Hi, it's Russ from Studio One Expert, and I want to talk about using the tone generator to create sweeps. Now, we have those a lot in dance and pop music these days, and what we mean by sweep is that noise will start to rise up at certain elements of the song to kind of emphasize that there's a break coming. And I'm going to show you how to do it. It's pretty straightforward. In fact, it's super simple using Studio One. Uh, what we're going to use is Tone Generator, and we've used that before. So I've got an insert here with Tone Generator on. And that's in your browser. If you go to browser, you can see it. It's there, Tone Generator. And you just drag that into the track or drag it into a blank space and it will create a track with it on. Uh, I've also got Analog Delay and Room Reverb on and we'll use those in a while. But the next thing we're going to do is we're going to come in, going to get Pro EQ and drag that in. And as you can see, the track's muted, but you can see because we're creating tone, which is white noise, the EQ is showing us that that's coming through, but I've got it turned down at the moment. So if I unmuted that for a second, you'd see there we have our white noise coming through. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move Pro EQ just there behind the tone generator. And what we need to do to create the tone is we basically have the high setting there and we bring it up like that, but we automate it. Now this is called high cut and low cut. In some EQs it's called high pass and low pass. So it's the high cut filter there and we can choose 24 dB per octave. So it's very steep now. We go to 48 dB per octave, it's super. So you check the one that you want to use. So we'll start with the 48 dB per octave. In fact, we'll go to that as 12 dB per octave. And now automation is super, super easy to do in Studio One. Now, the minute you grab anything in a Studio One on a plugin, the top left here, I'm gonna bring it up top left so you can see this happening. When I grab anything like that, you can see straight away that this becomes a new term. So if I grab the high frequency there, gain, you can see that's moving as well. Turn that back off. So this is the one we're gonna automate. So we have to do is grab it so it's actually ready to automate grab the little hand there and drag it into this track now then you have an automation lane appear there's the automation lane it's in yellow at the moment you can even color that how you wish as well so I'll make it red that yellow is easier to see so we'll stick with yellow and what we're going to do if we actually grab this now pull it all down see it's gone what I want to do now is get the pencil tool, in fact the line tool I'm going to use, I'm going to draw in that coming back from there down to there. Now listen what happens. So you can hear it working like that. Now you can draw that any length you want and then start moving around. In fact if you go back to the arrow key then you can start actually changing the shape of that as well and drawing all sorts of shapes in. So it's pretty straightforward to do. So let's say we've got that at the moment at 24 dB per octave, we're gonna be 12 dB per octave, it's entirely up to you. So let's go back to the beginning. And of course, then you get the volume right. Now the cool thing is then, if you then add an analog delay and the reverb on it as well, so I've got a nice delay, listen to what happens now. So there's the delay and the reverb hanging around. You do all sorts of tricks. So one trick I like to do is do a fast in and a fast out. You're gonna kind of zoom in on the sound. Have a listen to this. We'll do a long one here. So we'll go there and there, and we'll push that up there. I'll put one in there. Just a little drop off there, which you won't really hear. Let's go back again. Now, if you don't want so much bottom end in it, there's two things to take account of. The first one is make sure you're on white noise. Pink noise will give you more low noise and white noise will give you that more and the second thing to account of as well is if to go pre-EQ 
Pro EQ, sorry. That noise was just slight. You can actually then come here and filter the bottom out as well. So if we play that now, you'll see. So I've filter quite a lot of the bottom end out, and again, we can make that very steep. 36 dB peak per octave. Of course the sky's the limits then, we can come into the high filter as well here, and if we get this going a bit, turn that on, you could then put quite a steep cue in that, like that, Do all sorts of weird stuff, let's listen to that now. So as you can see, the skies are the limit. That's how you do a filter sweep in Studio One. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon.